No cuts to education. We're here on, uh, to uh, protect the quality education system that we have built over many, many decades in Ontario, a quality education system that produces the best students in the world. That's shown by the PISA test scores that have just been released. That, that's shown by the, the uh, great accommodations that we provide through our uh, teachers and education workers in this province. We make a difference and that's why we're here to protect those differences that we make and to continue with a world-class education system. OSSTF has made proposals. Those proposals are um, what I would consider to be the status quo. We are not asking for increases. We are not asking for 18 to 1. We're not asking to absolutely not have any e-learning. We're saying no mandatory e-learning. It hasn't been tested. It hasn't been uh, uh, researched. Uh, so if we want to do this, park those things so that we can move on and get kids educated in this system. And rural schools just ultimately based on smaller numbers of students in a building get less funding overall. Uh, per student and it makes it really hard to maintain a diversity of programs whether we talk about you know uh, preparation for the skilled trades or technology or you know any any uh, in the sciences in, in any form of uh, education that comes out of Huntsville High School these funding cuts are going to be devastating to our ability to provide classes services for students with special needs and the supports and needing accommodations and ultimately providing the supports that are needed for every student at this school no matter what level they learn at or what their future goals are, are in society, we need to have diverse programming that is well-funded and providing every student in this community the opportunity for you know, a, a high earning, a, a quality life in the future, and just ultimately uh, a, a life that is what they deserve. And it all starts with education. Whether we talk about you know, your, your healthcare outcomes or your economic outcomes, all of those socioeconomic indicators that make a developed country and, a, and an advanced uh, industrial civilization, it, it's, all, it's rooted in education, it's rooted in the public services, and we need to make sure that those services are fully funded. And when it comes to the local level, we need those programs, the funding that runs those programs, whether it's our shops over here or our science department or Canada World Studies or English or math or any of those programs, they require funding. And, and funding isn't a cost, it's an investment.